people live and die every day. That's going to happen until the Lord comes. But I can't afford to serve a God and he's going to die like man. Are you listening? You want something from God? I'm pretty sure everyone here do. This week, the church fasts three days and three nights. It don't have to be three days back to back. You choose what day you want to go. Every night prayer is to be in the temple. I went and said, I don't see. It isn't your place to see. I would say, who know the mind of the Lord? I'm trying to thank for God. He's the best knower. Monday night, be here in prayer. As I said, Tuesday service is going on anyway. But if they are praying, you that usually conduct praise service, if you hear the people praying, don't start saying nothing. Wednesday, back in prayer. Thursday, you that leave praise service, you hear them praying, don't start singing nothing. Friday, the first night of the church anniversary in Delmar, you're not there in the temple. We all need something from God and we need it now. The apostles say now is the day of salvation. Amen. Oh, yeah. God don't have no interest. <clears throat> People talk about what they want to do. God wants his heart. Are you listening? Right. God have no interest what we say we want to do. God wants your heart. Without your heart, you can't do it the way God wants it done. Are you listening? Go ahead. Sixth chapter of the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 6. Begin at verse 22. Numbers 6 and verse 22. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel. You see what kind of Authority a man of God have mm. and bless you or cuss you. My Lord. People of God that they need to be blessed. Yeah, we need it. Do what? On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel. How? Saying unto them, The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. And keep thee. Keep thee. The Lord make his face shine make upon thee. Make his face, meaning his mercy be with you. And be gracious unto thee. Be favorable unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. The Lord encourage you. And give thee peace. Hold it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Bible said the Lord give thee what? And the Lord give thee peace. Hallelujah. 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 You're not getting it no other way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shouldn't want it no other way because you'll never get it. Hallelujah. 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 Don't look for it to come no other way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord do what? And the Lord give thee peace. If you want peace, say us. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 As the scripture read earlier, the end of all things at right hand. Hallelujah. Our end begins today. Whether it be life or whether it be death, let us accept whatever God brings. If God give me life, so be it. If God give me death, so be it. I will accept whatever God brings long as I have peace with him. The Bible says what? And the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. The Lord, upon thee. The Lord lift, up, lift his up his countenance upon thee. Now when you say you ain't ready to die, you can't tell me what I'm ready to do. The book of scripture says that the spirit is not given by measure. By measure. And you can't measure it. Neither can you measure what's in them. You'd be surprised what God can do <clears throat> in an hour. What it may take one person to do in 50 years. You have no one idea what God can do in two minutes. What we would try to do in 50 years. Glory to God. God can do more of the person in one minute. What it take you to figure out all your life. Just one minute. God can change your whole heart in one minute. Many of us is like Martha. God was right there. Martha pushed him too far off. You folk have a tendency of praying long distance. God said, nigh thee. Nigh thee. God wants you to stop putting him so far. Stop putting him so distant. Stop just looking at him as being in heaven and stop forgetting he fulfilled earth. That's right. That's right. You got a problem? You got a situation? Then stop putting God so far. Stop putting God so far. What I'm trying, trying to do what? God is there. Go after him. Go to God. Amen. Believe in him. 
Amen. Amen. God can do more in one minute than what it take you five years to try to accomplish. Amen. Scripture says what? The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. A lot of confusion in life, isn't it? And say to know that I can't venture out to God like I want to if I got confusion in me. Well, what am I to do? Cast your cares where? Casting all your cares upon him. So imagine if this is God. You know what God wants you to do? Casting all your cares upon him. Get on him. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Get on him. Lay out to him. Man, if you got to do like David, get off your knees and lay flat on your face and cry out to God. I know from divine experience. Oh, yeah. When I fight God about a thing, I don't kneel about it. I get on my face and cry out to God. And you will begin to feel God break that heart. You'll find your inner being start to fall to pieces. And I can't say from nowhere, but from him, all of a sudden, you will find peace start to trickle down in you like you told to God. Like drops of water. But to go about it, you got to do it right. That's right. God's way. You hear what the Holy Ghost said? Amen. Casting all Jesus the told the wind, peace. Peace be still. My Lord, my Lord. Lord, we're going to be killed. Amen. The wind is going to tear the boat apart. Hallelujah. Here come God. And there rose a great storm. Right when they thought they would be destroyed. That's the way God do. He'll let you feel like you're on the end of your rope. And he'll let you get there. Are you 
listen? It's easy for a person who said they're going to continue if this the rope and you right here what you going to do when you're at the bottom of it and you're just dangling don't even have your whole hand on it just dangling and every trial come got you swinging Glory to God. Swing on. Do you understand? But before I let go and fall in the clutches of hell, I'm going to swing. And swing with God. Glory to God. I'm going to keep swinging. And swing believing God. Keep on swinging. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 God on high. Hallelujah. Do you understand? If Satan push you, Satan don't get Vicky over you because he got you pushed around. Satan get Vicky over you when you blow hard enough and you turn loose. But if I got one finger, I'm a Stay there. Go with go. Stay right there. If it's not going your way, it's not supposed to. It's supposed to go God's way. Stay there. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here, give you peace, won't it? Are you listening to what I'm talking? Hallelujah. What did he say there? And there rose a great storm of wind. Hallelujah. In Mark chapter 4 and verse 37. We are determined, all of us, whatever fight come to us from hell, we are going to fight as a divine family to the last of our breath. If one die, the other die. If one suffer, the other suffer. If one endure, the other will endure. Go ahead, go ahead. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Glory to God. What happened here? In Mark 4 and verse 37. And there rose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship. That's what's happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Waves is beating. That's right. Right into the ship. So that it was now Beating full. right up against the church. That's right. And now it was what? So that it was now full. When a ship get full and take on water, it begin to sink. That's right. Don't it? Amen. How many feel like you're sinking sometimes, don't it? 
Amen. Listen. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillar. Son of man was resting, not God. <laughs> God don't sleep. That's right. But the messenger was resting. And they awake him. And, uh -huh. and say unto Wake him, up, Jesus. Amen. What? And say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? That's where sometimes folk feel about me. Hmm. Don't you care about us? Don't you care about us? No, no. If I didn't care about the people of God, I wouldn't be giving my life for them. We don't understand you sometimes. That's normal. I don't understand some of you a lot. The church is your only extended family. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Your extended family is the church. Oh, yeah. We ain't going in by ourselves. No way. Fighting Satan. Listen. If you declare war <clears throat> on Brother Johnson, you have declared war on this whole house. Satan declare war on one brother or one sister, then he has declared war on this whole house. That's right. To be successful in battle is not start a war when a war is already in existence. Right. To be successful in battle is everybody get on the same team. Is that right? Everybody become one person. The scripture says one new man. That's right. Not wait for something to happen to feel your closeness. No. But the unity of the heart should be already established if nothing ever happened. Are you listening? Amen. Everybody all right? What did it say? Master, carest thou not that we perish? Do you care that we perish? And he arose. He got up. And rebuked the wind. Chastised the wind. And said unto the sea, peace be still. Peace! Peace. Amen. Amen. But first, some, some damage had to be done first. He's not going to tell Satan back up first before no damage is done. Amen. First, damage got to be done to see can you stay afloat. Then the Lord look at you. Sliding down. Sometime letting go and then falling, then grabbing, swinging. You understand? When Jacob wrestled with the angel, the Lord simply said, let me go. Right. For the day breaketh. Come here, Brother Ryan. Jacob was wrestling with the angel. The angel said, Let me go. Day breaketh. For the day breaketh. The day is coming. That's right. Jacob said, I won't let you go until bless me. you bless me. But it's written, he wrestled. Right. Tussling. He trying to hold on to him. 
And the angel trying to go away. Let me go. But the angel really wasn't going to go yet. Mm -hmm. He was testing his stability and what he going to do. Stay there. That's right. So what's the best way to do? Wrestle. I wrestled with him. Now I'm going to see, do you mean to stay there? I'm going to knock your thigh out of the joint. I'm going to give you pain. Because the nature of a person when they hurt is to let go. Is that right? Amen. Give them pain, now talk. Amen. You let me go. I'm not going to let you go. Don't let you go. Keep wrestling. My thigh. Go. Hallelujah. Go let you go. My thigh is out of joint. But I'm going to keep wrestling. I'm not going to let you go. Won't you got you. pains in my life. Things I don't understand. But I'm going to stay there. Holy, glory, glory to God. Stay there. Glory to God, glory to God. Stay there. I'm not moving. Stay there and wrestle. Hallelujah. I know what it's like to wrestle. It's a long fight. It's a tiring fight. You're so tired. You get tired of praying. Your will to fast is gone. And your urge to come to church is knocked out. Won't let you go. If you're holding on with one finger. All of you keep swinging. Don't go down until God go down. Yeah. Stay there and keep swinging. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what the Holy Ghost brought today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Apostle Paul says, Hallelujah. There is no Temptation. Temptation taking you but such common to man. as which is common or ordinary to man. God is Let me give you some revelation. Ask yourself, what do God see in me to give Satan permission to bring this thing? upon me what did God see in me God see in you what you can't see in self God know what to let happen to you and he know whether you're going to stand or drift away from him that's what is meant that he will not put no more above that which he is able that's right but will with the temptation a way to escape we don't even have the right to ask what do God see in me be thankful that God see anything in us what do God see in us to have blessed to be sitting in heavenly places glory to God You know, I felt like I've been eating plenty. Second Chronicles. There's so much coming to my mind. My flesh feel like sitting down, but Second Chronicles. Amen. Chapter 29. Hallelujah. We're going to have verse 27. Second Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 27. Glory to God. And, and Hezekiah commanded to offer the burnt offering upon the altar. Hezekiah offered to do what? And Hezekiah commanded to offer the burnt offering upon the altar. Upon the altar. And when the burnt offering began. When the burnt offering began. 
The song of the Lord began also with the trumpet. The song of the Lord began also with the trumpet. And with the instruments ordained the by instruments David. instruments ordained by David. King of Israel. King of Israel. And all the congregation worshipped. All the congregation worshipped. And the singers sang. And the singers sang. And the trumpeters sounded. And the trumpeters sounded. And all this continued until the burnt offering was finished. <laughs> This continued until the burnt offering was finished. Until the work of God was accomplished. And when they had made an end when of they had offering, made an end of offering, the king and all that were present with him bowed themselves and worshiped. That's wonderful, isn't it? Amen. We desire peace from God. We may not be able to have it as often as we like it. But I tell you right now, God is with all of us. You that's dangling by a thread. Paul said, I don't feel God with me. Did you let go? No. Who you think got your hold in there? Let the word of God strengthen your grip now. Strengthen your grip on God. It's only in God's word. That's the best place to hide, isn't it? In the word of God, I find a hide. In the word of God. In the word of God. In the word of God. In God's word. In God's word. God in the word of God in the word of God in the word of God thank you Say, God is my refuge. Yeah. 
Keep swinging on that rope. I don't care if the wind blows so hard it takes your breath away. All you got is God. Stick to it. Jacob Steiger out of joint and pain hit him. When pain hits your life, wrestle with it. Wrestle with it. I don't care if it gets you bent over and physically sick. Wrestle right there while vomit is on the floor. Your heart starts beating irregular. Wrestle with it. Wrestle with it. The moment you let go, you'll get caught up in the wind. And it'll suck you right in the world. Well, your ultimate destruction is death. I don't care what the devil say. We in this for the duration. Amen. Aren't we? Amen. Amen. Close out again with Numbers chapter 6. Look at verse 24. God gave us all something. And God has given us all something. Everything we need is in the scriptures. Are you listening to me? Numbers chapter 6. Back in Numbers chapter 6. In that verse 24. In verse 24. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Uh -huh. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel. And I will bless thee. You hear what God say will do for you? And I will bless thee. That's what the Lord said. Amen. Amen. Well, that answers your prayer. Amen. The Lord is telling you from the scripture, what you're petitioning him about, according to his divine will, said he, and I will bless thee. Eternal God, we thank you once again. We don't have words to express our gratitude. Truly you are the best Noah, the greatest designer. The giver of all knowledge and truth. Many of us is hanging by a thread. But through your word you have blessed us to just grip a little bit tighter. Lord, we may not feel fully what we want, but we know you gave us something. Hallelujah. Lord, if I take and believe what you gave me, you said you will increase it. Thank you, Lord. Look down upon our people. Strengthen us. Be with us. Watch over us. Stand by us. Strengthen our heart. 
Build us up where we're torn down. Mend our minds. Mend our hearts. Give us strength. Lord, I thank you for strength today. Lord, I thank you for answering my prayer. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You have answered my prayer. You know what I was petitioning you for. Lord, I thank you for the church. Make us all a better people. Put a renewing within us. Renew our heart. Renew our will to do. Give us a drive that we never had. To run for our life. To run from evil and run to what's good. Oh God, let your blessing be with us. Bless the prayer. I want you to be in the prayer all week, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, hear the, hear the prayer of your servant. I don't want the people just come and you not be there. Lord, your servant is asking you to be there. Lord, I want you there every night. Dealing and moving with the people's hearts every night. Whatever petition and deliverance that they put before you grant it unto them be a God unto them for there is no God but you we are thankful Moba. in the name of the Lord Jesus to whom all praises are due forever let the brothers and sisters say amen